here we have Sammy, and we are going to give Sammy a puppy clip today. You can see his coat is completely blown out with the dryer and free of any tangles or mats. Very important to get that coat in great condition before you actually start clipping. So I'm just going to take my comb, go over, make sure that I don't have any mats or tangles. He's feeling really good. Coat is in nice condition and we're ready to begin. First thing we're going to do, his nails have already been trimmed, so the first thing we're going to do is shave out this hair on the pads of his feet. You can see he gets grown pretty regularly, so you can see that there's not a whole lot of growth there. I'm going to use a 40 blade. For shaving out the pads of the feet, I recommend a 40 blade or a 30 blade. Um, 40 blades are a little bit finer. They do cut shorter than a 30 blade, but for the pads of the feet or under a comb guard, either one is fine. We're just going to hold his foot so he's still comfortable. And we're just going to kind of scoop out that hair in there. Getting rid of that hair will help give them a little extra traction. And of course, you want to make sure that we get rid of it because we don't want it to mat up in there and cause infection between his pads. We're just going to get that nice and cleared out. The next thing we're going to do in our process is we're going to switch our 40 blade to a number 10 blade. Again, you don't want to use a 30 or a 40 on bare skin, so we're going to switch to a 10 blade and we're going to shave around his private area and just keep everything clean and neat. So we're going to take our strap off, we're going to hold his leg up. As you can see, he's just kind of fuzzy under here. And we're just going to very carefully shave some of that. Just make sure that we know where the skin is at all times. Hold on to it. You don't want to cut him. And sometimes you can also kind of lift him up this way. And kind of get, just get in there and shave all that. So we're going to switch back to our 40 blade. We're going to do a puppy cut on him. Now a puppy cut can be... Um, Pretty much any length, it just, just means that we're giving him an all over haircut the same length. So right now he's probably a couple inches. So we're going to take off about half of this and we're going to make him about an inch all over in a puppy cut. And the comb guard that we're going to use today is the half comb. You can look on the website and it'll give you more information about the different combs and what length they actually leave on the dog. Fluff up. We're going to start at the base of his neck, so we're going to put this strap back on so he doesn't walk off the table. And since we're going to be holding onto his head, we're going to take that strap off. Hold his ears up. Take our guard and we're going to go. Once I have the hair cleared away from his neck, I'm going to go ahead and put his noose back on, just for safety. We're going to leave his head for now. I always like to do the heads last because I like to see what the length of the body comes out so we can make the head proportionate to the rest of the body when we're done. And we're going to fluff and puff. I want to make it fluffy, almost frizzy. Let's get a nice, smooth, even finish. You can see as I'm doing this, I'm getting a lot of lines. The more we go over it, the more we fluff with our brush, um, those will kind of disappear and it will really blend in and look nice and smooth. And for the most part, when you're clipping, you want to go with the grain of the hair. You want to brush against the grain, clip with the grain. You can 
see I have the tummy strap off because I'm doing this area, but I have my hand underneath him to make sure that he's not going to walk this way and fall off the table. side and then the other. That'll help catch that hair a little better. Make a smooth, even finish. Especially with a dog like Sammy, because he has a lot of calyx, his hair kind of grows in different directions. standing still. When I need to do this leg or the inside of this leg, I can hold up the other leg because I'll need to stand on this one to keep his balance. It makes it much easier to clip. He's got a lot of calories. His hair kind of sticks in different directions. Just gonna go over and over it. Make it smooth. Okay. 
Good boy, Sammy. I think a lot of times when you're grooming a dog and you're not really seeing that smooth finish, it's just, uh, just you haven't done enough repetition. Just go over and over it. Fluff up our back brush, all that hair as you go. And there's our little trick we pick up the other leg so he stands. Sometimes if the dog will let you, and of course if their back hips are strong enough, you can lift them up a little bit, like we did when we did on the private area. You take your comfort down like this, that little extra off. Not all dogs can handle doing this, so if they seem to fight a lot or it seems uncomfortable for them, then you're just going to have to do it with them standing on all four legs. You can see, we just go over and over it again, and we're starting to get a kind of a neater appearance, a bit more shape. Now that we've used our half comb guard, we've got um, Sammy into a pretty decent shape here, and we're going to start using our scissors and our metal comb to trim around his feet and kind of fine tune everything, and then when we're done with that, we'll go back and we'll do his head. So we're going to take the foot, and we've already shaved off the pads, we're going to brush it down with our comb, we're going to take our curved scissors, we're just going to follow the shape of the foot on the bottom. And this takes a little bit of getting used to. You can actually practice on some stuffed animals. Um, anything round and fluffy, you can practice your scissoring. You just want to use your comb, brush the hair, make sure you're holding them in a comfortable position. So scissor up, scissor it up so it's clear of any hair. So then we're going to take his foot and we're going to put it like it, he would, how it would be if he were just standing. And brush down. You can see this extra. Again, okay, we're going to take our pair of scissors and go around. If you invest in just one pair of scissors, I always recommend curves because most of the dog is curved. I really don't even use the straight shears anymore. Everything up straight, turn around. You want to think round, round, round. All of this up. We're going to take our scissors. We're going to go. I like to flip my scissors. 
scissors around a little bit. We're going to go all the way across in a sweeping motion, just real lightly. And just think round, round, round. And you can just kind of go over it and pick at it. Anything that looks out of place. Kind of work on the back of the leg here. Use your comb, brush it all out. Your scissors. And this is where you might want to use some straight scissors. Again, I just use the curves. Sometimes I use them facing this way instead of this way. the line of his stomach. Kind of even that up. Just that little edge there. Take our tummy strap off. Make sure we're holding on to him for safety. You can see all that extra hair there. So when you're coming around here, you just want to feel, make sure you know where the skin is. Be very aware of where the skin is before you start trimming. away from the skin. I'm just going to trim that little bit off so you have a nice neat line. Of course being super careful to make sure I'm always aware of where the skin is. This foot down, you see where it's how it's naturally gonna lie. Get a little shape like that. Take the foot up to finish it off. And just kind of go back and forth between sitting it down, picking it up. Pretty decent. And the trimmed foot and the untrimmed foot. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to come all down and trim it away. round shape. You see we're starting to get our shape on that foot. You see how that's kind of sticking up. We're just going to 
Is it right up? Pick up the foot, brush up, sweep across, circular motion. Part round. And you can just keep going over it until it looks good to you. Depending on how much time you want to put into it and how uh, perfectly neat you want to make it. Feel where our skin is. The comb guard does most of the work. We're just going over it kind of neat. It's not a lot of hand scissoring in this kind of a puppy cut. Sticking up, trim it off. Then we're going to brush up. We're going to do the round and sweeping motion over the foot. Onto his tail on his head. So when trimming right under the tail, I like to take my curved scissors and turn them this way and just cut. Some groomers like to shave back there. I don't really like that, but you can if it's uh, your preference. I just like to scissor away enough to make it neat. Comb, check. You can kind of run over if you're coming right again. Do a little extra neatening. Okay, and we're going to trim his tail. We're going to brush it all straight out. Some off the tip, depending on how short you want the tail, just make sure you feel where the actual tail is. Put your fingers on the edge of that so you're not going to cut his skin. But um, you can take off as much as you want. Some people like long tails, some people like short tails, just personal preference. Then you're going to brush the hair, part it down the center of the tail as much as you can. Use your fingers. 
fingers. And just like you're parting your hair down the middle. Take your curved scissors. And make what we call a flag. We like his tail fairly short. until it's as neat as you want it to be. See anything sticking up? Just scissor. Curve scissors. Flip it, see how it's going to look. Make sure everything's trimmed. You can thinning shear all of this out as much as you want, or you can shave it again. It's personal preference. Some people actually like it shaved all the way down the nose. Sammy's owner actually likes a little bit of this. Um, some people prefer to grow this out so it lays flat. It really truly is just what you want your dog to look like. So first we'll thinning shear a little bit, and I'll show you how to do it that way. And then we'll shave out his eyes, because for Sammy, we do shave out his eyes. So if we're just going to thinning shear out, this so we can see. Take our thinning shears, the inside being very careful not to get it right actually at his eye. And you're just gonna use this thinning shears so we're not just using it like one or two um, little snips like we do for a mat, but we're actually cutting the hair. So we're gonna do several open and close. You see it's taking the hair off. Clearing out the eyes so you can see. It's also helpful to get rid of some of that brown icky stuff. And some dogs' eyes tear more than others. There are several products you can buy that will help with that. You can see. Right, let's see the brown. clear so you can see. And again, some people might like to thinning shear all of this off and cut it so it's all gone. But for Sammy's particular look, we like a little bit of that. And see this brown here, you can also use your thinning shears.
go. You could just stay sure enough that he could see. Now I'm going to show you how to clip it out. Switch back to our tin blade. You don't ever want to use a 30 or a 40 on bare skin unless it's past the beat. We're going to do is kind of kind of hold it like this, pull it back so you can get a clear view of his eye. And we're just going to get just the very corners right here. And we're going to brush it away. There we go. So you get that extra off. do tend to tear up a lot. I guess that brown stain. Try to keep it nice and clear. Aside from his little, we call his little starburst. We're going to do a little trick here. We're going to use a longer comb than what we did on his body. This is an O comb. We did his body with a half comb. We're going to switch to an O comb and we're going to go backwards. And that's going to help Blend all this in. Just backwards over that. All that off. Just along his crown there. Careful, of course, not to hit his eyes. Sammy always gets a short face. Um, some people prefer a longer face when they're Shizus, Lazas, these type of breeds. We do like a short face on Sammy. So we're going to take our scissors, we're going to trim up his bangs and trim this just kind of neat in a bit. Yeah, we just brush forward. making it neat is just to do it multiple times. Just go over it again and again. You can see he does have a lot of calyx, so we'll just have to kind of sit through that as much as we can. Make it look neat. And kind of the same way we did with the paws. Gonna go in a sweeping motion. Whatever's sticking up. You can just go over and over and over and neaten it. You can see a little calic here. I'm go across there, take that off. And scissoring. So we've got the top of his head in pretty good shape. I'm gonna lift up this ear. You can see all this extra hair sticking up behind the ear. I'm just gonna scissor it. Same sweeping round motion like we did with the feet. And same thing here. Brush it up. Round, round, round. You can flip 
the ear over, kind of brush it, kind of get a feel for what it's going to look like. Go over it a little bit more if you want. Pretty good. Same thing on the other side. Flip the ear up. All this extra hair here. Lightly, gently scissor. You can see we're really starting to get a nice, neat shape. See anything out of place? Once you get your shape in, if you want, you can use your thinning shears to kind of do a more natural edge line. Some people like this long right here. You can trim it a little. Make it look a little natural. With your thinning shears. Thinning shears are vital to good grooving. Again, you just kind of go over and over it until it looks the way you want it to look. This is how we pretty much do it now. Just make sure it's neat. Move it down a little bit. And we like his trim with his little star, starburst. ears are pretty much the length that we like to keep them. You can do short ears if you like, long ears. I have some pictures on the website of different lengths of ears. Kind of get an idea of what they look like with the different faces. He gets groomed pretty often. So his ears are about the length that we keep them. So we're just going to neaten a little bit. Take his ear. Straight down, just take off a teeny tiny bit at the bottom. And then after I do that, I'm going to kind of fluff it and I'm going to let it just kind of sit, kind of see how it's going to fall naturally. And then I can go back and get anything extra that's sticking up. Same thing with the other side. This way, buddy. Straight down. Just a little bit. And I can see where my pieces are sticking out. Sammy's groom. Get that look at one. Hey, buddy. Not for the camera. It's a 
fica ano teaser.